Hello everyone, I'm Luann Kilday, Education Coordinator at the New Mexico Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. I'm going to take off my mask. I'm outside here in my backyard and today's demonstration I'm going to show you um, what I do to felt fleeces and the fleece I'm going to felt today is a Navajo churro. So let me go ahead and, and show you how I do it. So here is the Navajo churro fleece that I have laid out on a tarp in the backyard and it is uh, the closest the, the fibers to the animal's skin is on top and the locks are on the underside. And my tools I'm going to be using is a pool noodle. Uh, of course I'm going to be using some Dawn dish soap because we need soap and we're going to have some cool water from the hose and I'm going to have buckets of warm water or hot water that I'll be using and we'll see how it felt. So I'll show some progress as I get going. So I have been felting for about an hour. I used my noodle to roll back and forth and I also have a piece of bubble wrap here that I've been rubbing the wool down with and that's helping it felt. If we look in here, I still have some fibers that aren't felted so I'm just gonna keep going and I'll show you hopefully soon what it looks like. Okay, so here is my felted fleece. It's draped over uh, one of my fences here at the house. What I've been doing is taking a dog brush and I have basically been brushing it and that's been fluffing the fibers and also it's been getting rid of some of the vegetative matter that's in the churro fleece. And so as you fluff it up, it looks really nice. So I'll continue to do this and it will probably be in my kit that I take to schools and do outreach events so folks can see uh, what churro fleeces look like and um, more about the felting process. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration today and I hope everybody stays safe, stays healthy, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.